G'day and welcome to another crochet lesson. Today we're going to learn how to make this easy coffee mug cozy. It is all made of yarn and is a beginner's project. It is kept onto the cup with ties so that you don't need to go out and buy any extra buttons or anything else. So like I said, great beginner's project. So let's get started on the lesson. For this project we're going to need a mug. This is my little mug that I use, isn't it cute? You're going to need a sewing needle, a crochet hook. This is a 5.5mm hook or an eye or a size 9. It will supply by Moonshadow Threads. I will put the link below if you want to go and grab one yourself because they're really easy to use and super cute. pair of scissors. Now I keep getting questions where I buy my scissors from. I actually get these from my best mate. She owns a company so and she uses these in the with the items that she makes. She uses these scissors. So I'm gonna try and get some so I can do some as a giveaway. If not, I have seen them on eBay as well. They're they're um really really cheap on eBay. Only a couple of bucks and they're really good because it doesn't matter how you pick them up. Left handed or right handed, they cut either way. So we're also going to need some yarn. I'm going to be using worsted weight. You can also use, well you can really use whatever yarn you like for this project because gauge isn't a problem with this project. So let's get started and we're going to make a really easy and simple mug cozy. So we're going to start with a slip knot. There are plenty of ways to make one but if you don't know how, the easiest way is to lay the left hand side over top of the right flip the loop down over the main strand grab your hook go under the main strand grab both pieces of yarn and then pull tight pull on the long one and then that will secure it to your hook don't pull too tight because you do want it rav ravelly so don't want it too tight so now for your mug cozy basically what we're going to do is make a chain the width that you want your cozy now you don't want it the whole width of your mug so we just want it basically either side of the handles so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a chain I'm not going to count, I'm just going to make a chain if you hear those random noises, my dog is sitting next to me Hopefully you won't make too many. So I'm just, that's the start of my chain, I'm just laying it next to the cup. I think I might add two more. Yes, I think that's about right because I've just got a little bit, see how it's not quite the width of my mug. Now you can pick many 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 stitches for this if you find a pattern and it says multiple of something so it might say multiple of four that means you do four chains then you do another four chains then you do another four chains you could use that pattern you could basically make up anything that will fit into the multiples. So this one I haven't got multiples, I've just made a chain. I'm just going to use a basic half double crochet for this one. This is going to be basically your beginner coffee mug cozy. So you want to go into the second chain from the hook. The one on our hook is number one. There is sorry, we don't count the one on our hook. Number one is here and number two is there. We're going to yarn over Go into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops that are on your hook. If you do need to know how to make this stitch, you will go need to practice that first, but this should be a good practice for you because we're just going to go backwards and forwards. So in every chain across, we are doing our half double crochet. So it's yarning over going into the stitch, 
yarning over, pull up a loop, yarning over, pull through all three. And we're going to work this all the way to the end. Like I said, this is going to be a basic cover. You can use any stitch you like. You could use single crochet. You could use a double crochet. If you're using the single crochet, when we went into the second chain from the hook, we're going to do that exact same thing. If you're using a double crochet stitch, you'd go into the third chain from the hook. So I'm coming up to my last stitch. And there we go, we've got the width of our mug cosy, so let's just make sure. It may have shrunk just a little bit. It, it has very slightly shrunk, but that's fine. I'm not that worried. So what we're going to do now is chain two. And turn our work around. So we're spinning it around. We're looking at the back of our work. Now, normally you would go into the second stitch and this chain two would count as your as your um, first stitch. So we yarn over. Because our chain two is our first stitch, we're going to work into the next one. Because that's the first one. Here's the second one. We're going to work into the next one. And we're basically going to repeat this all the way across. Now if you want a ribbed look to your cosy, work into the back loops only. And the back loops is when we look at the top of our work, we've got a V. So there's one going down there, or sideways V. There's those two bits here. This is the front loop. And this is the back loop. You're going to work your half double crochets into there and that will give you a ribbed look to your coffee cosy. Now I've seen hundreds and hundreds of different designs for these things. This is just your basic one. So we need to work into the last stitch. See how it comes down and there's a little bump? That is our last stitch. And what we're going to do is going to work into the end there. And then work our half double crochet. We're going to chain two and turn our work around. Now if you turn your work around then do your, your chain two, it is exactly the same. You just work it in a different order. It doesn't make any difference to your project. So that chain two counts as our first stitch, and that's our first stitch there. We're going to go into the next stitch. And we're going to repeat these rows, exactly what we've done in each row, until we have our little piece here long enough. And I will show you in the next clip how long you need it to be. Now of course everybody's got different size mugs, so yours may be a different size to mine, but it's basically worked on the same principle. So coming up to the end of the row, make sure I show you that properly, that's the chain two from the previous row. We need to work into that chain two. So see, because see how there's no stitch in the top here? We've one there, but there's none here. So we're going to yarn over, go into the top of the stitch, go through the chains, You want to make sure you get two loops on your hook. There we go. See how we've got two loops there? And then work our half double crochet. So we're going to do this until the project is big enough. Now just a quick little note. If you've noticed these holes forming at the end, it's because our uh, chain stitch is not as big or as wide as our half double crochet. But don't panic, these can be part of the feature of our um, coffee cozy but if you don't like these holes because if you're making say a blanket with this method it's gonna look pretty funny this is what you can do 
so chain two and then work a half double crochet into that first stitch and what we're doing is we're going to ignore the chain two so when we come along working our half double crochet see how the gap has closed up but when you come back you're only going to work into the half double crochet you're not going to work into the chain two so I'm going to quickly zip across so the holes don't worry me on this project because I'm actually going to use those as part of the feature okay so we need to go this is when the holes created see how the chain two is over here it's stretched right so when we do our chain our work into our chain that's when the holes created see how it's got that big hole but when we come back this way because on that end we did our chain two worked our half double crochet in the first stitch sorry my yarn's getting stuck here Oops, sorry. Okay, so because we've, I'm going to just zip across. I know I said in the next stitch you'd see how long I'd made it, but in the next, sorry, next clip, but I just thought I'd show you this bit too. So, see in this one, this is our chain two, and that half double crochet worked into the same stitch as the first one. What we're going to do is we're going to work into just the top of the stitch which is here not down on the side bit there it's there so you're going to work into there and work our half double crochet we're not going to work down into this chain turn our work and chain two then you work the same stitch as the chain two and as you'll see, there's your hole here, but up here, there's no holes. So that's another method. But you always ignore the chain two, because if you work that chain two stitch as well, you're going to be increasing and your project's going to get wider. So don't work the chain two, just the last half double crochet. So I've got mine finished. Mine's probably about one, two, three, six, seven inches long, which is about mm, what, 25 centimeters roughly? That's without measuring it. So you grab your cup and just measure it around like that. So if you're making it for a specific cup that you know you always use at work or home or something like that you can uh, make it to fit but because this pattern is going to be adjustable we can pretty much use them on any cup as long as the cup isn't a lot smaller than that one so we're going to finish off what we're going to do is we're just going to cut leave a little loop cut the yarn ah oh, more thumbs then we are going to just fasten off, I just put the tail through the loop and then pull tight grabbing our yarn needle we are going to thread that one and then we're just going to hide our ends now I just like to work down through the bottom of the stitches however you do it is going to be good as long as you're weaving it in there, the stitches so that it hides our yarn tails. And I like to weave in about one, actually, no, two inches at least. If you don't, um, if you don't weave in your ends, they are going to come out. They are going to ravel, undone, unravel, and your project's going to fall apart. And you don't want that happen especially when we spend so long making it so 
So both doing the both both the tails. Just weaving in in and out of the stitches. Trimming off I've got two pairs of these and I think these are the blunt ones. They look exactly the same, so <laughs> it's hard to tell. So now we're going to get our, I'm going to use a contrast colour just so you can see it easier in the video. Uh, this is actually 8 ply, so this that we just used here was worsted weight. Now there is a difference in the thickness. So this is worsted weight and that's the 8 ply we get here in Australia. So there's a there is a bit of a difference in the thickness and especially when you're making projects that need to fit properly it can have quite a big effect on the overall size of your project. Now because I've dropped down thickness in my yarn I'm just going to drop down a smaller hook size. This is a 4mm. So make your slip knot however you make it. And then we're just going to make a chain and this chain is going to thread through the hot the holes that were created by our big gaps that were left. But I said it didn't matter because it's it's now going to be part of the project. So we're basically making a chain. I'm not doing mine very tight, just chaining along. And I'm going to keep going until it's long enough to thread through here and then have some extras on the end. So I'm just going to thread this is the end where we started. I'm just going to thread this through the holes. I haven't cut off my yarn yet because I don't know how long I need to make it. Because we want enough when we've threaded it through so that we can tie it in a little bow. So it keeps it onto our onto our um, mug. So I know I've got that one end coming out the front, one end at the back, but that's okay, I'm going to thread that through there. This is just to see how big it is. Let's use hoping that works. Just need to make that even. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's going to be, it could be just a little tin, tiny bit shorter. So I might just take some chains out after I pull it off. And then we're going to repeat it for the other side. So i just undo that. I'm just going to take out that many chains. So this one is going to be custom to your mug. So that we're just making our chain, threading it through. So now we want to make a chain the same same length. I'm going to cut my yarn off there and just pull through. So I'm going to make one identical for the other side. So when we've finished our chains, what we're going to do is just thread the little end piece and we're going to sew it, sew the ends in. So basically what I do is I just thread the needle in and out of the chain. Now you could have also used, you could have made your chain and then single crocheted back across for a thicker, thicker tie, that would work too. And then grab the beginning of your chain and pull it through. There we go. Done. Grab your cup. Adjust your camera. Oh wait, that's all I'd have to do. You don't have to do that. And then give it a test drive.
Now you can make these with buttons and all sorts of things as well, but this is just the basic pattern where you didn't have to go and buy extra bits and pieces, you, know, you didn't have to go and buy extra buttons to make it. You can make it from things that you've already got. So I'll th have a think about how to make one with buttons. This is actually the first cosy thing I've made for a coffee cup. I do also have a soda can or a soft drink can which is what we call them here, cosy, so you could use that method as well. well I think that, ugh, I don't want that in there to be drinking your coffee. You don't want to get your tyres dirty. Now I think that looks really cute. This may annoy some people but I think, you know, when it's cold in winter and you don't want to burn your hands and you want to keep that coffee warm, these aren't really going to bother you too much. Now you can decorate this any way you want. You could add a face, you could do anything, flowers. Well everybody, it's time to go make a hot cup of coffee. And until next time, cheers and happy crochet. G'day and welcome to a lesson. Blah 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 blah. Oh, hello! My name is Bob Wilson, one true city. And in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to make a coffee cozy. So stay tuned and let's get started on the lesson. Hello everyone. In today's lesson we're going to learn how to make a coffee cup cozy. And for this project you're going to need about, I don't know, heaps of yarn because that's what we use when we crochet. <laughs> 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 